Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's Andrew from SneakerOggs023 coming back at you with another video. As you can see, we got another pickup right here. Uh, this is another UA sneaker pickup. So uh, these are actually not for me. These are for a friend as well. If you guys see my last video on the Jordan 1 University Blues, um, you saw what amazing quality those shoes were. And uh, my friend was super, super happy and excited um, about those shoes and like, was in awe and just totally shocked about how great the quality was and identical to the retail authentics. So this is another one and I'm gonna blow you guys minds out because uh, these, pause, you know. <laughs> um, but these are uh, honestly another great, great quality sneaker right here. Another Air Jordan 1. So without further ado, um, let's get into the unboxing. So just cut this open right here. Not hurting yourself, you know, just kind of edges. Um, yeah, these are these actually recently released, as you can see right here. It's another another pair of heat that uh, everyone was trying to get, everyone was screaming for, you know, slow mo right here. Right, double box, bubble paper, bubble wrap, protect the shoes, you know, gotta protect the shoes. Bang, bang. You guys already know what shoes these are. Don't even have to say it. These are the Jordan 1 Lost and Founds. These are UA, but as you can see, they look exactly the same as Retail Authentic, like I've said. So, it's a little bit of box damage, but that is okay. You know, that is very minor, nothing, nothing serious. Here is the box label, size eight and a half. Uh, Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG. Now this color code is DZ, yes, I said Z, because I am Canadian, 5485612. Varsity Red, Black, Sail, and Muslin? Muslin? Probably pronounced that wrong, but it's okay. Uh, like I said, eight and a half QR code made in China. You got that for sale sales sticker right there, uh, just like the Authentics bottom. There it is. There's the print. There's the Nike branding, Air Jordan branding, right there. Um, nothing much to it. Nike on the sides of the box. All right, let's orange. Top label, top lid, sorry, right there. Flip this open. All right, look at that. Exact same tissue paper as the Retail Authentics. You know, Jordan 1, classic Jumpman. You got MJ there with the uh, Black Toe Jordan 1s. These are sick classics. Double papered right there. Um, and look at these, man. These are freaking. These are fire, man. These are sick. I've actually never held these in my hand before, so I've not actually seen a pair of these. Uh, Jordan One Lost and Founds, but these are damn amazing. So let's put this one down. Now, I wonder if they can't, these ones can Oh, yes, it does. Yes, it does, ladies and gentlemen. Right here. So, as you can see, Sandy Bros, Sports Depot. You know, there's the address right there. And here is the, this is the factory. I guess from China Factory. Right here, the Nike, you know, outline what to do. Honestly, sorry guys, I, I can't read Chinese. But um, there it comes with that. So it does come from some sort of Nike factory. And here's the receipt that it used to come with back in the day, probably in 1986. How much they used to retail for and how much was that say? Uh, what was that like $64, $44, dollars 64 Something like that. Air Jordan basketball shoes, paid cash, final sale from Leia. Received by Leia, you know. August 30th, 1986, invoice, look at that, just like the Authentics. Here's the tissue paper, 
Here's the other side of tissue paper. Beautiful, just beautiful. So I'm just gonna leave that there real quick for y'all to, uh, to take in how gorgeous these shoes are, how amazing and like, look at that, look at this quality. Look at, look at, look at the shape. Just take in the shape of the shoe right here. How amazing these are. Look at that. Got the ring light on there, you know, super detailed look all right now let's uh get into the review so on the outside outsoles obviously you can see the varsity red outsole with this aged uh white look got the you know the 1986 kind of vintage vibe to these outsoles got like the sail white kind of like a yellowed midsole look right there wrap around the shoe and moving up you got this cracked see this cracked leather right here on the uppers the mid panel and on the toe box it's like a sail white cracked leather very nicely done nice materials comes with sail sail white laces white and black and this is very nice so it's not a glossy varsity red it's more of like a dull red which is supposed to be to give it that vintage look you got that it's smooth it's pretty nice nice quality you know very very soft soft to the touch so you got that smooth uh, varsity red leather <clears throat> wrapping around the toe box the heel counter and the upper collar around the eye stays, eye, eye, eye stays in the top. You got the sail mesh tongue with varsity red patch, Nike Air. Very nicely centered as well. Moving to the other side, you got that nice black swoosh. And of course, you got the iconic Air Jordan Wings logo. Very nice, the detail in there. And of course, the lost and found have this cracked black leather on the upper collar. See the quality there. Look at the, the rears, the V, hourglass shape, very nice. Backside, there that is right there. Got the extra laces. Now, these come with uh, tissue paper, not a Jordan cardboard insert. Um, here is the insole. Oh, very nice. Nike Air, written in red, white insole. Very, very nice to the touch. This is a eight and a half, so this is correct right there. Nice dream cell, very nice. Exactly like the legit authentic pair. Now look at the inside. No date stamps, no nothing. These are UA. But I just want to give you for all you legit checkers out there. Look at that. Size eight and a half. Same uh, color coding. Look at the production date though. So this uh, production date was. Uh, April 12th, 2022 to June 7th. Yeah, June 7th, 2022. QR code and all. Look at that. Pause that for a sec. Take a look at your pairs. See if it's the same. But yeah, this these are these are just amazing, guys. You know, like I said, UA always hits it out of the park with these, you know. Can't go wrong. These are identical, like I said. To the authentics and you just can't you just can't go wrong with these you guys thinking uh, you know you're on the fence of oh should I cop you ways or you know people are gonna call me out like I'm wearing reps and you know fakes and all that and nah man they're not they're not gonna call you out dude you're telling me that if you saw someone rocking these on the street you're gonna pull them over 
and say, I can tell that your shoes are 100% fake. That is a bull face lie. Because you're telling me that you can tell right off the bat that these are fake? Nah, man. Shape of the, all you legit checkers out there. Tell me, oh, up and down, fake. Nope, these are not. These got a little bit of curve. Materials, on point. You know, logo, on point. Cracked leather, on point. All these details, finer details. You know, look at the toe, look at the shape of the toe. Look at that, look at that right there, pause that. Look how sleek that is. There's no balls, there's no open box toed or whatever you call them. And look how square that is. Guarantee some of the authentic, legit ones, there's some overhang and you can see kind of the lettering peek over and stuff. Look how clean, cleanly stitched that is. That is amazing. They did a really good job on these. This is awesome. Like, you can't even tell that these are reps. Like, that's how honestly amazing these are. And I'll show you these ones too. Like, right down to the detail of the receipt. You know what I mean? Like, come on. Like, these, yeah, the, the font or the color of the, the writing is a little bit more bold, I guess, darker shaded, but who really cares, honestly? You buy shoes to wear shoes. Like, that's why I think this shoe game now is really, really messed up and saturated and all that stuff. I mean, shoes crazy valuable and whatnot because people don't want to wear them. They want to buy them to resell, to make a profit. But you know what? You buy shoes to rock them, not buy shoes to freaking sit on a shelf and kind of admire them, just look at them and just fucking excuse my language, you know, just mess around and, you know, they crumble after anyways, you know what I mean? The midsole crumbles and then you, you have nothing. So buy what you like, you know, buy what you want to wear and you can't go wrong with these UAs, the same materials, probably from made from the same factory, you know, I don't care all the licensing and all that crap, guarantee the same molds, everything, everything is down packed with these shoes. Anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, click that like button if you guys haven't already. Really, really appreciate it. Comment down below. Let me know what you guys think about these shoes. Um, if you guys want to cop these shoes, like I said, at cnj.sneaker on Instagram. Post her Instagram right here so you guys can see. Hit her up. DM her. Tell her that I sent you over. Sneaker, Sneakerologist023. And you'll get $10 off additional. Can't go wrong. Get them in about three to four weeks after placing order, PayPal, all that jazz. And yeah, let me know what you guys think and comment down below. Let me know if you guys already copied ways before and if you guys caught from cnj.sneaker on Instagram. And let me know your experiences and hope you guys enjoyed. Catch you guys in the next one, all right? Peace.